The Life and Sad Ending of Josh Ryan Evans Josh Ryan Evans was born on January 10, 1982 in Hayward, California, to Cheryl and Chuck Evans. His parents divorced later. Josh had two elder brothers, Timothy Michael, born 1971, and James L. Evans, born 1972. Evans suffered from achondroplasia, a type of dwarfism caused by a genetic condition that constrains cartilage growth and physical development. He also had a congenital heart problem before reaching his teen years, and he underwent three heart operations. As a child, while recovering from the surgeries at hospitals or home, he spent most of his time watching movies and TV shows. Watching TV provided him with a total escape and took him away from his problems. This inspired him to pursue acting as a profession. He believed it would help provide that escape to just one person. It would be a great way to spend his life. At the age of 12, he printed his own business cards and, in 1994, contacted an agent without informing his parents. He soon booked an assignment and appeared in the Dancing Baby commercial for Dryers or Eddie's Ice Cream. The commercial became very popular and won a Chloe Award. The popularity of the commercial brought him TV and film offers. He made his TV debut in two Halloween episodes of the sitcom Family Matters, in which he played the role of Stevel. In 1998, he played the part of a child prodigy attorney, Oren Cooley, in two episodes of Fox's legal comedy drama, Ally McBeal, wherein he confronted the main character played by Callista Flockhart. Then Evans landed his first feature film role in Columbia Pictures' Baby Geniuses, 1999, in which he appeared as a toddler. He played the main role of General Tom Thumb, a, the dwarf circus performer in Arts and Entertainment, cable presentation miniseries called P.T. Barnum in 1999. He appeared as Adam in 1999's TV drama series Seventh Heaven and provided a voice for Showtime's Poltergeist The Legacy and Nickelodeon's animated TV series Hey Arnold. In 2000, Evans appeared in the feature film How the Grinch Stole Christmas and essayed the role of young Grinch, adult Grinch, was played by Jim Carrey. Evans joined this role, though the makeup of Young Grinch took almost five and a half hours, two hours more than Jim Carrey's makeup. He also liked working with the film's director, Ron Howard, who is a former child star. According to Howard, Evans' role was originally planned as only a small walk-on part as a funny green creature that is a classroom misfit, but the role changed after the director met Evans. In Howard's words, Evans generated a lot of heart for the story. Evans became famous for the role of a living doll, Timmy Lennox, in the NBC soap opera Passions, which was in July from 1999 till August 2002. This was an unusual role of a doll created by a resident witch, Tabitha Lennox, who later turns the doll into a real boy. His was the most popular and memorable character of the show. Evans received a number of awards and nominations for his portrayal of Timmy in Passions. In 2000 and 2001, Evans won two consecutive Soap Opera Digest awards for Favorite Scene Stealer and then the next year as Outstanding Male Scene Stealer for his portrayal of Timmy in the series Passions. In 2001, he was nominated for a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Younger Actor for his role in Passions. In 2000, the same role fetched him a nomination for Young Artist Award for Best Performance in a Soap Opera, Young Actor. Because of his genetic condition and achondroplasia, Evans was three feet two inches tall, but he considered his size as an asset According to him, because of his size, people wrote roles for him. 
If he was to be just another blonde-haired, brown-eyed, 18-year-old, he would have been left unrecognized. Sadly, he passed away on August 5, 2002, during a medical procedure in a San Diego hospital from complications related to a congenital heart condition, aged 20. A strange coincidence happened on the day he died. The episode of Passions in which his character Timmy dies after donating his heart to charity was aired on the same day. Evans was cremated and his ashes rest at the Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Hollywood Hills, Los Angeles.